JDRF is a global nonprofit focused with a strategic plan to end type 1 diabetes. We fund medical research that will bring better therapies, better treatments, a cure, and one day ultimately prevention of type 1 diabetes. What we're learning at JDRF is there has been a tremendous increase in the diagnosis of type 1 diabetes. There's been an increase in children being diagnosed and adults being diagnosed with juvenile diabetes, type 1 diabetes. We serve the state of New Mexico, but our office is in Albuquerque. We have a very small staff, but we have hundreds and literally hundreds of volunteers that help us reach the JDRF families all across the state of New Mexico. Great. So Too Fun is Type 1 Families United Network. These are family-focused events that bring together many, many families faced with diabetes uh, in the Albuquerque metro area, and they're usually geared toward um, a family activity, and so it's an opportunity for families to be together and strengthen their own family, but then interact with other families faced with diabetes and share resources, share best practices, share coping strategies, and make friendships. A grant from Albuquerque Involved would underwrite our Summer Two Fun program. This would be a bowling event where more than 100 families would come together. It's an opportunity for those families to share and be together and feel less isolated as they're facing diabetes. The children make friendships, the parents make friendships, and ultimately it really inspires those families to then also give so back. Being able to meet uh, other families that knew what we were going through um, was pretty much a lifesaver for us because we felt like we were completely alone. And, and I think that, um, you know, having a two fun event that you're able to get together and meet other families for the first time, especially when it's so new and scary, is, is such a wonderful experience. It makes him feel as though he fits in, and um, it, there's not such a, a gap between his life and, and other children's life. He, he's normal. He's completely normal, and, and it's not any different from, you know, anybody else when he's with other children that have type 1 diabetes and, and going through exactly what he's going through. Children who are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes do often face isolation. I mean, they're in school, they have to test their blood sugar, sometimes 5, 8, 10 times a day. They have to do it in the classroom. It's challenging. It's challenging for the child, their siblings, uh, the parents, the school nurse, the teachers. It's really um, a very, it's a family disease because it really affects everyone in the family. And at our two fun events, we really celebrate family. So the siblings come, the parents come, the grandparents often come. Sometimes they'll bring a friend along and it's an opportunity for them to share and be with their peers and not feel like maybe they're being looked at differently because they're testing their blood sugar or because they're having to watch their carb count. 